Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking light particle trail effect using Adobe After Effects and Particular. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. So press OK. Once you've got that, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a new solid and we're going to call it Particular. Once you've got that, you need to create another new solid and this one is going to be called light path. So now once you've created those two layers, we can actually take the eye off the light path because we don't even really need it. All we need to do is create a mask using the pen tool. So I'm going to come over here, click on the pen tool, make sure I've selected the light path layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off the screen over here and then I'm going to click in the middle somewhere and then I'm going to click up here and then I'm going to click down here and then I'm gonna create a kind of infinity sign. Now you don't wanna to go too close to the edge because once you apply the glow and stuff like that, it's kinda of gonna get cut off. And once you're happy with you know, your pattern, you can always change it around a little bit. So I've now done you know, four kind of uh, loops over here and then on my final uh, way out, I'm just going to make sure that the path is going off over here. Now to change and edit any of these, all you have to do is click on one of them and then you can go back and you can change it to however you like and put it to the points where you like. Cool. So now once you've completed your path, the next thing that you need to do is you need to come over to your light path. You need to come down to masks. And then you need to go and click on your mask path and you need to copy this. So I'm going to press command C or control C to copy, go to my light and then I'm going to press P for position. Make sure that I click on position and then I'm going to press command V to paste those keyframes in. Then I'm going to hold option to just drag it out to roughly about six seconds. And then you can see that now my light is following that path that I've just created. And that's looking pretty cool because now we can actually work on the light. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to come to particular and we need to search for the effect particular. Now, just a reminder that trap code particular is part of the red giant package. So please make sure that you have this plugin before continuing on with this tutorial. So now that we have particular on here, it's not very appealing. So we're going to change a few things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the emitter and we're going to change the emitter type to light. And then we're just going to press OK. But we're going to come over here to the light naming and make sure that we write light. So exactly the same as you have down here. So now you can see that if I scrub through, it's actually following the path that we have. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to increase the particles per second to 1000. We're going to change the emitter size XYZ to zero. I'm also going to change the velocity to zero, the random to zero, the distribution to zero and the velocity from emitter to zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the particle settings. I'm going to change the life to let's say one. I'm going to change the particle type to a streaklet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size to let's say 110. So you can see here what's actually uh, happening. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to size over life and I'm going to click on the presets and I'm just going to click on this one over here. But now I do want to edit this a little bit. So I'm going to come over here, grab the pen tool and I'm just going to bring this point down maybe to something like that. So you can see what's happening over here. Like because this is tapering up, you can see that it's tapering on the edges. And I think that looks pretty good for now. So I'll just close that up. But I'm also going to change the opacity over life. And this one, I'm just going to put this one as a preset and you can see that that taper is now amplified. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to change the colors. So I'm just gone to color hunt and I'm choosing this color palette. So I'm going to start with the darkest blue first and I'm just going to paste it in there. So I'm just going to press OK. Then the final thing that we need to do is we need to open up the streaklet settings and we need to change these values. So I'm going to change it to about 12 
uh, number of streaks and the streak size to about 18. And so now if you preview that, you can see what is actually happening and it's looking pretty cool at the moment, but we're going to make it look a little bit better. So what we need to do is we need to open up the designer. And once you're in the designer, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that system. So I'm just going to come over here, press apply. So now in the second system, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the velocity and I'm going to bring the velocity up to about 32. And that's pretty much it for the emitter settings. Then I'm going to go into the particle settings and I'm going to change a few things here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the particle type to a sphere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size to about maybe 12 or 14. We can maybe play around with it a little bit later. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to opacity over life. And I'm just going to click randomize to create a random kind of preset over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. So for this color, I'm going for something a little bit lighter, but I'm still sticking with the blue theme. And so now I've got these kind of little particle trails that are connected to the main streaklets. And that's looking pretty cool, but we're going to duplicate that again. So I'm going to open up the designer again, and then I'm going to go to my primary system and I'm going to duplicate that again for system three. And I'm going to press apply and this time in system 3 I am going to change a few other things so in the emitter settings I'll keep the velocity at zero and then I'm going to move to my particle settings so I'm going to go to life and I'm going to change this to 0 0.5 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the particle type to a sphere as well so you can see now we're creating the head of this uh, trail and I'm going to bring the size down to about 30. And so that will create, you know, kind of a, a head over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to size over life. So I'll click on that and I'll change the preset to, let's say, something like this. And then what I'm going to do is opacity over life. I'm going to change it to... Again, I'll choose the same preset over here, but I'm just going to edit it. And so I'm going to bring down these uh, these things like that. So you have uh, kind of like a, a shallow little graph over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth it out just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change the color. Now, this is going to be the lightest of all the colors. So I have two options here. I can either go really white or a little bit. I think I'll just pick the first one. Cool. So now I have like a, a white kind of tip for the start of the trail. And then it goes through the rest of the animation just like that. And so now we're pretty much finished with, you know, the particular part of this. And if you want to change up any of these things, so for example, you know, you want to increase the size or anything like that. You know, for example, if we bring up the size, you can see how it's making this part a little bit bigger. So maybe I could even bring that up to about 35. But yeah, you're, you're free to choose whatever you like. I've just chosen these ones as well. So now the last thing that we're going to do here for the particular effect is we are going to search for an effect called glow. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to drop down the threshold to let's say about 40 and then we're just going to increase the glow radius to let's say 15 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that by pressing command D and then I'm going to increase the, uh, the threshold back up to let's say 100 or 90 and I'm going to bring the, uh, the radius to about 80 and I'm going to change the intensity to let's say 7. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have a nice light trail glow streak that goes with the light trail. 
and that's looking pretty cool but there's one last final thing that we can do and that's add a new adjustment layer so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a new adjustment layer make sure that it's right at the top of your composition and i'm just going to search for the effect uh, the effect called noise and i'm just going to add let's say five or six percent noise and i'm going to uncheck use color noise and now it's just adding a little bit of noise to that composition and that's pretty much it so now feel free to you know put in any settings that you want into particular or feel free to you know put in your own paths and things like that but that's basically it so anyways guys thanks for watching your short tutorial on how to create a light trail in particular i hope you guys learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time